Being a good driver and pump operator means more than just driving and pulling levers. Let's check it out. The tire on fire control, I'm on the scene. I'll have a on command. We do have a working garage fire here. So this video comes from David Decker's channel. And if you're not familiar with his channel, you really should be. It truly is one of the best educational firefighting channels on the internet right now. But I think he said it best when he replied to one of the comments on this video. He said, any good driver or operator works harder than anybody else on the fire ground. Now I know everybody loves to make jokes about pump operators and engineers being lazy, taking naps, eating ice cream and all of that kind of stuff. And while there is definitely some truth to that, there's a lot more to the job than just driving and pulling levers. For instance, the most important thing you can do as a driver operator is getting your firefighters to the scene safely. This means you have to know your district thoroughly. And this does just doesn't mean the main roads. This means all the side streets. This means all the closed roads. Anytime you come in in the morning, you have to know where there's construction or where there's blocked roads so that you can have multiple routes to anywhere in the city. The second and obvious part of the job that's very important is being able to get water quickly to your firefighters that are in the interior. Now, I don't know if you can see it quite yet in this video, but you'll see here this white hand line that's on the ground is already charged. By the time the chief showed up on scene, this pump operator already had one line in service. I believe the firefighters were around back fighting the fire from there, but he has already gotten that tank supply to his firefighters so they can get in there and start fighting the fire. We'll be out conducting 360. The next hallmark of all great pump operators is they do a fantastic job supporting their crew that's on the interior. <sighs> We almost got it! This means making sure things are ready. Even something as simple as what you just saw this guy do, which is move that hand line around the front because I already have one going around the back and flaking out the hose so that they're ready to go if they need to attack from another angle or if there's going to be another crew showing up to put water on the other side of the structure. Engine 542 in route. Adding medic 3, break. Engine 542 in route. Medic 691 to Madison Command. Now, most smaller fires are going to easily be handled by the 500 to 750 gallons you have on board your engine. But one of the most important things any good driver or pump operator can do is know where the closest water supply is and how to hook up to it quickly. Where's the water? Another good thing to keep in mind is where would be a backup water supply? If for some reason that hydrant isn't working or it's out of service and you didn't realize it, can you secure a water supply somewhere else? You'll see this guy, he's hustling, he's not going slow, he's moving quickly to catch a hydrant in case they need more water. Another really important role of any good engineer is monitoring the communication between command and the interior. Now, if you're an engineer, that usually means you have some experience on the job, three, five, seven years, it depends on where you work, but it's a step up from firefighter. And that's for a reason, because any good pump operator has experience on fighting fires in the interior. They know what it's like to be on the end of a hand line when there's way too much pressure or way too little pressure. They know the importance and the urgency of making sure you always have a water supply. Any good pump operator monitors this and pays very close attention to how their interior crew is doing. Commander 3, you are broken. Repeat your traffic, please. The best pump operators go above and beyond to support their interior crew the best they can. You see here, this guy is changing out the SCBA bottle for somebody that just came out. Another good thing you can do to support your crew is make sure the tools are out and ready to go so that if for some reason they need to come out of the structure, they don't need to search through the truck. Fire up the tools, fire up the saws, make sure that they're ready and they're working in case they need them. But for now, YouTube thinks you're really gonna like this video. Let's see if they're right.